If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to the Nutrition Philly Podcast your host, Brittany Kennedy, on the phillytech.org netcast network. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Nutrition Philly podcast. This is episode number four. Uh, I'm here by myself today, so it's just me. You just have me. Uh, but on the bright side, Thanksgiving is coming up, and I thought I would take this time to just kind of touch on how to approach this holiday dinner, um, plus all of the other dinners that are coming, because it's probably the most stressful time of year for anyone, you know, trying to lose weight, but also just trying to maintain your weight too. So I wanted to kind of take the time to just briefly give you guys some, um, um, kind of, you know, how to, to figure out how to really handle all this. Um, so I'm going to go through it today. It's going to be really simple and hopefully uh, you will hear my voice and see my face when you sit down to Thanksgiving. So without further ado, uh, we have holiday eating 101. All right. So uh, let's go over the facts, right? So the facts are um, Thanksgiving is next week. So if you forgot, I'm reminding you it's next week. Uh, and it's followed by a ton of other holidays. So, you know, this is just the beginning of the madness. So your calendar is about to get really full. Um, you're going to have a lot of events, dinners, cocktail parties, work, the holiday stuff, Secret Santa. So you need to be mindful of what's going on. Um, so the, the real fact here is that the average person gains one to two pounds over the holidays. That's the average person. 10% of our population gains five or more pounds. So this is definitely an issue. Um, and the last fact is that Aunt Linda may, makes a mean apple pie. So, you know, this is not something we can just avoid. So the biggest thing that I hear from people is, you know, what do I do? Help me, I don't understand. Um, so hopefully this will show you what to do. Uh, first thing I tell people, don't save up your calories. Um, you want to focus on eating protein and fiber before your big meal, whatever time of day it is. So if you save your calories for your holiday meal, um, you're going to end up being hungry by the time you get there. So if you show up to your holiday event hungry, inevitably you're going to end up eating too much. So make sure you eat a good healthy breakfast. You get your snacks in. If your meal is at dinner, make sure you have a nice big salad filled with tons of vegetables that have tons of fiber in it. Put some meat on top. Um, Protein and fiber help to keep you fuller longer. So the more of those you eat, the more satisfied you're going to be when you show up to this event. So then we get to the main event, right? And so people start asking me, well, how much of how much of this am I supposed to eat? How much of that am I supposed to eat? Because let's face it, you're not going to take your food scale to your holiday dinner. Maybe you are, but most people aren't. So the best way to kind of explain it to people is just to divide your plate. So if you're looking at this plate here, imagine this is your plate, um, half of it should be your vegetables. And that's whatever vegetable you find. So you have green bean casserole, you have broccoli, whatever it is. Uh, a quarter of it needs to be your protein, obviously your turkey, maybe your ham, if you have that too. And then the last quarter is going to be your starch. All right, so for a visual, that's what it'll look like. Uh, like I said, half your plate, your vegetables, a quarter, your turkey, perhaps not the whole turkey, uh, like that there, but you know, some of it. And then your starch, whether it's stuffing, baked potatoes, cream corn, whatever it is. Um, but definitely make sure half of your plate is filled with those vegetables. All right. So after dinner, we have to start looking at dessert. This is where I tell people you have to strive for balance, okay? It's okay to have a piece of pie. It's not okay to have the whole pie, okay? But don't deprive yourself. You know, don't be that person who doesn't enjoy that piece of pie or that glass of wine or whatever ends up being there. You know, have a small piece, enjoy it, but then walk away from the table, 
all right? So lastly, to sum this all up, um, to make it really easy, first of all, you need to make sure you eat before your meal. Don't save up your calories. High protein, high fiber foods, eggs, fruit, meat, chicken, vegetables. Make sure you have a decent amount in your stomach. Um, second, when you get to your meal, think of splitting your plate into those three sections. Half vegetables, quarter protein, quarter starch. And third, make sure your dessert is sensible. Don't deprive yourself um, and don't feel like you can't have it because you certainly can. You just have to make sure you, you know, don't go overboard. All those things together uh, results in a pretty happy you. So all in all, I think if we remember those three things, uh, Thanksgiving and the rest of your holidays will end up working out really well. So that's all I got for you guys today. Episode number four is a wrap. Um, and happy holidays, and we'll be checking in again soon. See ya.